I don't think there's a lot to shave off it, but they will, they will shave some of it off it, but it, it's not going to be easy, and they're, they're doing it in, with a lot more intensity than I did. I went for a good day out and stopped when I wanted to stop, whereas now they they're, they're think they can't stop at all, and, and I'm not sure that is the case, but anyway, we'll see. Time will tell, as I say. If I live long enough, I might see it. Uh, I'd be surprised if you could knock any more than three quarters of an hour off it. But, you know, I'm only talking about uh, my own ability and, and I, as I've said to dozens of folks over the years, I wasn't the best at the time, uh, about to better runners than me. Yeah, I was a kind of a fellsman, I liked, I liked the fells, I, I covered rough ground well, so there's no such thing as the perfect passage, uh, package anyway. So, yeah, three quarters of an hour, possibly. Uh, but they'll, they'll know the vertigo when... Uh, yeah, they knock out of it. So, and I do feel sorry for them I, I, if they ca if they, they feel they can't stop at all. Because uh, that, for me, if I had to go under that intensity, I wouldn't have gone at all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, as I said, I wasn't the best it was about. I was I was fairly good, uh, but I wasn't. You know, there was there was a you know dozen. 20 lads around there that uh, about that time that could run run fast fell races and uh, yeah but because of in that 80s in the time then I would have won the British Championship in 1980 and I was kind of dominating long lake district races and, and I think they put us on a pedestal that they shouldn't have put us on and nobody none of the better runners really tackled it so so yeah that, I think that's that's part of the reason. Oh, all sorts of people, you know, Bob, Bob Whitfield, yes he did a Bob Graham, and, uh, uh, but Bob, the difference between me and Bob was an absolute whisker. We were both similar runners on, on, on the terrain, we liked rough terrain and we were good downhillers and blah blah blah, and Bob had a real good Bob Graham in him if it, if it tackled him, but because Billy had, uh, was usually just beating him in races, then he would likely think, well, I can't beat it on the, on the bother. He didn't do a Bob Graham, but he did it in a lot slower than, than he did it with Harry Walker. And, but, but yeah, the 80s are a lot of good runners about. And, uh, but like I say, they just put it on a pedestal and, uh, and that's part of the reason why it still stands. Now, well, I don't know where the man's coming from actually, just at the moment, where, who he is, unless he is Killian John here they talk about, who I don't know, I don't know from Adam, I just have read about him. I don't know the lad, and uh, maybe he can do it. He's, uh, he's certainly uh, won a lot more abroad than ever I could have won, because I, well, I did go abroad, but I wasn't much interested in it. All I was interested in was in my own patch where I was born. And, uh, so. Well, yeah, no problem, because uh, I did what I could on the day. Now, whether it would have been any better having another go, I don't know, but I, I just... Uh, no, in, in lots of ways it'd be a monkey off my back because I actually get sick of hearing about it now. <laughs> yeah, so if somebody come and took it then, then good on them and they'll have to be good enough to take it. Uh, but it certainly won't bother me, I'll be quite happy to shake his hand. I will say this, that I would, I would love it to be an Englishman, oh, no sorry, a British person. Uh, but if it's Killian then and Killian can do it, then he can do it. Uh, yeah, and good luck to him. <laughs>